Greetings. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I am giving a tutorial to one of my former students um, slash BFFs. He's about to prepare for his state board. Currently, right now, he is working on his chemical, his mock state board um, application. In this particular section, he is working on the virgin tint to darken. And what this section is, is it requires that you make uh, quarter inch subsections. And he is applying his mock solution um, to the section. So right now, as you can see, he is working on his consistency. He's also working on um, making sure that he has those clean lines. And also, let me zoom in so you can see here um, his quarter inch subsection. So you can clearly see these sections forming in really good there. So obviously the proctors, this is what they're looking for. They're looking for these clean lines and this particular section, all the students have 10 minutes to get this completed. Um, I like for the students to get it in under about seven minutes because, you know, it's, knowing that it's done efficiently but done uh, in the practical way and in a timely manner and done correctly is just going to be uh, beneficial. So obviously the, the more you do this, um, you're going to become more efficient at it and it'll just be very easy. So I will return in a minute and we'll go on to the next section which will be your virgin I'm sorry relax or retouch okay okay so we are here uh, I'm here back again we are resuming currently we are working on the state board mock state board uh, chemical this left quadrant section is the chemical relaxer and what you're going to do as you can see you're going to leave an inch from the new growth and you're going to apply it down the strand leaving an inch from the ends and here you can see that we have those half inch subsections this particular section each section is 10 minutes a piece and so total you have a total of 40 minutes I am teaching my students to get it done in about seven minutes just to give them extra time in case they have to go back so it's always better to be done ahead of time and as you can see there's like a little uh, in paper here on the on this section here and the reason why we're using that is so that no product does not get on the right quadrant we want to make sure that everything stays dry because if hypothetically if this was a relaxer um, this section would be uh, processing already and so we don't want that to happen so we're just using that as a protective barrier so once he's completed with this particular section we're going to remove the end wrap um, and then he'll raise his hand for the proctor to come over and check his application. So he has about two more sections left, and I think this is it. Yeah, that's his, this is his last section. And clearly you can see that he's done a great job executing this task. Okay. 
So this section is completed. Mm -hmm. And so you can clearly see that this is a half inch subsection here. This section here is your virgin tint to darken, which is quarter inch subsections. And you can see those sections there. So we're going to fold this back over just like so. Okay. And I've removed the end wrap on top. And you can see that this is dry, which it should be. Okay, so we are back here. We are working on our final section here. This is the bleach retouch section. Uh, eighth inch subsections, very small sections. And this is for your beautiful blondes, those who want to come in and get those roots done at least, um, let's say about every six weeks. But that's what this is. This is your bleach retouch. Eighth inch subsections and um, make sure that you have that mock solution applied um, all the way across the hair strand and definitely no dry spots. So it's more or less like a little dab. You're not putting a lot of product on that, on the mannequin. And clearly you can see those nice sections forming in there. Hope you you all are enjoying our nice Mozart music playing. So relaxing. And he's doing a great job applying the, the product on here. And you want to make sure that you, you maintain control at all times. Um, I would say this is going to be the section that's going to require the least amount of uh, mock solution. Um, that being said, um, for some of you all, you might want to invest in a smaller um, applicator, applicator brush, um, just because it just kind of like gives it gives you a little bit more control. However, you don't have to do that if you don't have it. No worries. Just you know, do what you can. Just make sure that you keep um, your product controlled as you are. Uh, applying the, the chemical when you're dipping your, your brush. Just make sure that you don't get too much product on there. If you do, just dab it off a little bit before you apply it. So you don't want to have too much. And then the thickness, obviously, the consistent, the more thicker it is, you're going to have a greater control and more consistency. So, just makes it a lot easier. Um, it's also important to make sure that you make um, clean partings. Make sure you have those clean breaks in between one section and the other. And if you take too much hair, just go back and just remove a little hair. Because when the proctors come over, they're looking to see that you executed uh, with the right sections, making sure that the product is completely on there that there are no dry spots that's all they're checking for so if you've executed all those points then you would definitely get all those points and again you have 10 minutes to complete this task but again I always like to teach my students to try to get it done in about seven minutes And she's such a pretty mannequin. She's pretty. I don't know what her name is, but she's pretty. Make sure when you get ready to go take your state board test, you have to have, if you could have a new mannequin, that would be fantastic. Um, you definitely want to make sure that our hair is long enough to be able to give a nice uh, a, a haircut you need to, you're gonna have to remove one inch uh, around the perimeter when you, when you get ready to do your hair cutting.
you just want it to be long enough to remove one inch and you also want the hair to be long enough to to do your permanent waving making sure that you just you're able to rod the hair with six rollers so now he's just pulling everything back down and clearly you can see you still have these you can still see those sections in there which is good okay and so he's removed our little end paper that we have there this section looks good and the bleach retouch is completed.